I, I just, I've never felt so loved. I, I don't know what to do with my hands, but I've never felt so loved by so many people. And it's very hard for me to fathom that this is all for me. I. It's for me. It's for me. <laughs> for us. So for those of you who don't know, I am Delaney's older brother. Yeah, the range. Or... I have uh, known Jared since about the <laughs> winter of 2011. I knew it would be a very wonderful, dangerous, and deviant friendship from the start, kind that goes against societal norms. I always thought that marrying my best friend would be the greatest thing I've ever done in my life, but unfortunately, Jake already had a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Delaney, do you take Jared to be your husband? Mm, I do. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day that my best friend settles down with anyone, let alone my sister. <laughs> so you've far exceeded expectations. An outrageous comment could come out of his mouth at any point in time. And you're gonna find yourself shocked, but at the same time, you're gonna be like, man, that was fucking hilarious. You know, I've never heard anybody speak so kindly about me. <laughs> It wasn't until I brought him around my family that I noticed that him and Delaney had some sort of spark. Fast forward seven years, I was sitting in the middle of the woods for National Guard duty, absolutely hating my life, and I get a text message from Delaney saying, hey, just so you know, Jared and I are dating. I hope that's okay. I shortly got a text message after that that said, I will always treat her right because I know what you can do with a rifle. <laughs> it's what I'm needing. Okay. From day one, all those years ago, you've been one of my favorite blessings. You were always so protective of me, and that's something I've always cherished about you. We always said if we were both single by 30, we'd give up and marry each other. met you, I told you my name was Rich, because you looked like a girl from Abercrombie and Finch. <laughs> well, I'm sitting here in a room that reeks of beer and fart because of the wonderful gentleman I have standing next to me. But through all that, all I think about is today. All I can think about is you having a freaking mustache on our wedding day but I'm glad I was able to convince you to keep the goatee. You are my home, my family, my furry children's dad, my biggest supporter, and every other cliche phrase out there. Thank you, Jared, for loving her as much as I do. Never seen Jared in love before. I was like, wow, okay. He does have that side to him. You handsome devil. I hope every single day for more moped adventures, top off the door deep days, skid loader bucket riding, playing football in the house, and stories of you knowing you loved me on our first date when you saw the sun setting behind me in my walking taco. <laughs> I love you to the end of this earth, Jared, even if you wrongly decided to have a mustache on our wedding.
I'm beyond happy. I'm also beyond nervous. Threw up once already. You'll have that on those bigger jobs. And I'm just excited to finally see you walk down that aisle and start the rest of our lives together. You've given me more love in the last three years than I thought I could have in a lifetime. From then until forever, I promise to always love every ever-changing version of you, to love and support each of those different people you will become, to remain the remaining percent you need when you can't be the full 100, to always support your dreams, even if they change every other week. I'm here to promise you that as long as I can, and as much as I can, I'm going to love you with everything I have. This couple is perfection and that is clear. These two love each other and that is why we're here. So do a shot and have a beer, let's celebrate the day. And now it's time to bop the night away. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands and have made promises of faith and devotion to each other and have sealed the promises by giving and receiving of the rings. Therefore, it is with great privilege that I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Jared, you may kiss your wife. Woo! <laughs>